So we just want to create a nice meta field with ACF field and Elementor for our blog post. And this is actually a template that I am selling uh, for $0. So I'm selling for $0. You can download it and get it, this whole page. And I also have created a video on how you can make this website with like this uh, recipe and all, how I made this. Yeah, it's on YouTube or it will be on YouTube. You can check it out. I'll add the link in description. And the thing is, we actually want this to be dynamic, right? So that we don't have to like manually add it. In this one, in this tutorial, or sorry, in this page, I have manually added it. But in the video that I made for this one, you could see it is automatically getting added based on my loop builder. And just know that you will need Elementor Pro for this. So just go in the description and get Elementor Pro from my link. And that way you could support me. And you know, you can always go to my website and then, okay, well, if you go onto my website and click recommended, you can always see my recommended stuff around here. So like if you want to get hostinger, you can click here, Elementor, any plugin that I use or tools that I use and just using those links helps me. So first thing, what we need to do is install ACF, go into add plugins and then type ACF and then add it and activate it. Once if once we have acted, activated it, we will get this option, go in field group and here I have already created it. But basically you just click add new and this page will pop up once you click add new here we type whatever we want so i'll type like recipe info okay now this is something that i've done already but i'll show you what i've done we basically just click add field here we go into radio button and then in your field label so basically what should it be called so i'll call it like recipe type i've already created recipe type so it will for example, there's already a recipe type around here. So basically just call it recipe type. It will create a field name. You could choose something else if you want to here. And in this one, we type is vegan and let's say non-veg, non-veg and let's say vegetarian like this. And if I save it, also, Make sure you, you are choosing this one. So show this field group if post type is equal to post. But let's say if you only want to show it for specific categories, you could also do is uh, if post category is equal to uh, only recipes, something like that, or only for vegan recipes. And you could do that too. I'm basically doing for every single post. So I'll keep it like this and do save changes. Then we go into a post. And I've already created three. You could also check the tutorial where I've created this whole website. It's not perfect tutorial, but it is done. And this is something that I've already added, but this is the one that we just added. You could see vegan, non-veg, vegetarian. And the issue is we actually want to use uh, icons with it. We actually want to show like some icons with it. So what we need to do is in our ACF field, I'll show you what I've done. So I am using font awesome. Okay. So basically font awesome five and you could install the font awesome five uh, from here. And again, if, if you add this thing and still the fonts are not showing, then what you will need to do is you will need to go uh, in ACF and then install another plugin. You don't need to worry about installing like uh, too many plugins. If the plugins are good, it doesn't matter how many you use, but still it's, it's good to have less, but this is the way I made it. So basically you need to activate this one, advanced custom field, font awesome field. And once you activate it, it might show, it will show, but let's say if you, if you have not installed this and if it's still, if it's still showing, for example, in this one, so in this one, if these icons are not showing after you have added this I class that I'll show sooner, soon, then make sure you activate that thing and then refresh it and then you will see it around here. But if it still shows it by default, then just don't add the second plugin. So basically this is what we type. We type I class equal to, and in this one, we just type whichever font that we want, or sorry, whichever icon that we want. To find the font, just go and in, go into like font or some five version five slash search. And here we can type any font that we want. So 
So right now I'll add this one just to showcase. And you see this is what we are getting. And we basically need to just copy and paste it. And basically what FAS does is FAS means solid. Then we have regular that is FAR. And let me show which one it might work better. So so I think we can understand it better here. So basically FAS is solid version. FAR is regular version. This is light version and this is du duotone version. For me, I'll just type FAFA -A rather than FAS. Or you know what? I'll just do it FAS because solid version. And then in our ACF field, you see the this one. We will basically just copy it around here. And then what we need to do is, let's say if you save it like this. Let's reload. You could see that we are actually seeing that plus icon around here. And one more thing is, let's say, uh, let's say you, you cannot just type space and then have the space around there and you want some distance between them. And you could also type this NBSP. It is used for something else, but it can also be used for like spacing. And for this, this situation, it works too. Basically, we use NBSP when we don't want like two words to break into the second line when size screen is changed. Basically, if it's saying 20 USD and if you slow, uh, if you slow, if you lower the size of the window, sometimes 20 would be in this line and then USD would go into next line because the screen is getting slower or smaller. But if you add NBSP between them, then it would just consider it as like one word. So whenever you slow or lower the size of the screen, it will just take the 20, 20 space USD to like the next space rather than just moving the USD on the next space. But we can also add for spacing like this. And basically we just need to, you know, copy and paste different icons. So I'm using random ones for this one, but you could do any one. And I'll basically save it. And if I refresh now, you can see our icons are showing. And basically, you can choose. And basically, again, I've almost forgot to tell you what we are doing with ACF. We are basically adding more fields into our stuff, so people can just people can just basically like select what the type of their post is, like this. If it's vegetarian and or not and it would just be like selecting it rather than typing it and making it every single time and we basically need to convert this into a dynamic stuff so what we will do is we will go into our template theme like theme builder it requires pro version by the way unless you are trying if you are using like other plugin which allows you to do it but i don't know which one you would use because i haven't used uh, stuff like that so basically i'll click edit and what you could do is if you actually like installed this template, let's say if you got this template, you can basically copy this section, only one section to like this part. That's what I've done. I've basically copied this section to here. But if you are not familiar with it, you could just, you know, type heading like this. Because this is, this is used to create dynamic stuff. And right, once you selected it, we will select post title like this. And then that way we, it automatically creates this dynamic loop or just dynamic stuff. Here we choose like text editor and then choose in dynamic post accept, apply to post content and 30. And this is just icon which is featured image. So basically we just clicked here and then choose featured image. And then you just do the spacing and all the way you want to. Okay. And uh, the main stuff that I want to show you and which you are here for. This one you could see are all heading tags. So what I've done is I chose heading tag like this. Uh, here went into dynamic tags, clicked ACF, click this French icon and then choose the which one you want. So right now I have recipe type around here uh, like this. And you could see it automatically says vegan. And that is because we actually need to have like different stuff. So I'll create it like this. And let's update it. 
I'll update this one and refresh. And you could see it now says non wedge. And basically, it is dependent on which field you use or which key you use from here. And then you do all the styling and stuff. You make the colors and all, however, you want it to be. But the issue is, we don't want to have like this color applied to here. And for some reason, we cannot add the styling in here. For example, if I type like style and then do equal to equal to, let's say red, it just does not work. I've tried it. So what we can do is we know the class names of this icon classes. Basically, I class equal to FA FA plus. So this part is the class name of that icon. We know this is the class name and we know this is the class name. So what we can basically do is if I go into here and you can see there is not enough spacing in here because I haven't added the NBSP like this to here. So let's just add it to every single one. Let's remove it and then try if it shows it around here or not. I'll do recipe type. And we got this one. It's not going to do unless I update it here. And this is very annoying thing that I found about ACF that if you do some changes around here, it will not automatically do changes for every post. You actually need to go and update the post around here else it just does not work. For time being, let's show what we are actually doing. So right now we will add a custom CSS. This is also Elementor Pro feature. Use the link in description. And again, we know what we are using FA plus we are using FA envelope. And we are using FA square. So what we need to do is we need to go in here and then type basically this thing dot FA envelope open bracket type color and here we can add any hash value. So any hash value that you have for the color, I'll just type red for now and then close bracket and then copy and paste it here. Also, we don't add this double quotation, my bad. And you could say it basically works. And the thing is, if we add for every single thing, for example, if I add for FA plus, so I'll type dot FA plus color and then add green like this. And then we type FA, which one is it? FA square. So FA square and then add a color of blue, something like this and update it. What it would do is basically for every single or whichever the icon is showing around here, it will show that color. But one, one important thing and very important thing is I show you what I mean. So let me simply open all of my posts again. So if I go into my posts, let, this is the pizza package. So I'll open the chickpea and this one. And let's say if I refresh this page, okay. I'll show you how can how you can make it just don't worry or you can see it is only showing for this one but that's because we need to actually go and select it so that it is like refreshed so let's say if you do some changes around here and you cannot see around here then you actually need to go into your blog post and update and i'm not sure why that happens i just wish it just worked perfectly and just changed for everything so now you could see that we actually have these colors like this so we have red we have blue and then we have green automatically added to whichever the whichever icon class we chose. And if I go into my loop builder and I'll show you how you can add this here. For example, we act this loop builder, which we created by going into theme builder and then choosing loop. This section is just for this is just a layout. It's not actually how it's or this is not the actual image that will show. This is just to create the layout. And you could see that if I just add an icon, so if I add an icon and then choose the same icon, for example, the square one or this square one, it is automatically changing it to blue. And obviously you could just go in here and then change the color and that would be no issues. But the best thing that you can do is because right now this CSS code is applying to this whole page. So anytime we add a, uh, what you call, add let's say 
uh, icon which has the same icon class it would just do that to every image or uh, every icon color so what we can do is basically go here and then type selector so selector like this and that basically just does is it targets only this section so it basically checks that in that in this one it then finds this icon and then it only targets this one or sorry in this one because we are adding it to this section so it is only checking in this section if we add it to this container then it will check for the whole container and then try to find all these uh, class names and if you don't want to use selector and if you are using some other plugin then you could also do is here go into this one and then type a css class like re type something like that recipe type and then rather than using selector we will just type dot re type dot re type and then like dot dot re type that also works just like selector and basically what it does is if i refresh please work thank you uh, if i do square you see it's not automatically making it like that if i do envelope it is not automatically choosing that color because we added selector and now it works but how can we add this layout simple just type loop go into loop grid add the loop grid uh, then choose the template name so basically when we created this new uh, what you call loop builder we actually created a new template so right now it's called recipe post template and then we'll type recipe post template like this for and it is present around here just to give you a reminder if you go into theme builder when we click create like add new it is creating like this post builder or post template and that's the one that you want to use and you could see it's automatically creating this layout it's adding this non veg vegetarian vegan and rest of it is just adding your design so it just comes down to design for example in this one i have just added a container and then i have added three headings also make sure you make this to like you know p or something you don't want the seo to be messed up so make it p div span not sure why you would add like h3 h4 but p span div that's like the best option and then for space just type nbsp where is it just type like and sbsp uh comma uh, one issue i did find is for something like duration where i have only added like a text label so we have added field type as text so you can see in duration i have added text label and that is also easy to just showcase you just add login heading and then just choose that thing so basically you just you know acf field and then go around there recipe type or sorry duration and then it will just show whatever you have shown but we don't have an icon around here and the thing that i've done is i have used an icon box instead of using heading and that way i just added an icon around here and we actually don't even need to add the css for it because we have the icon around here but one issue is for some example if i just remove the duration around here and update and if i reload it you could see that duration is not showing but this icon is still showing so that's one thing that i'm not able to figure out how i can just you know if it's empty it should not show and there's obviously plugins for like dynamic visibility plugins that you could use that if it's empty just don't show that's the only way i know but i'm not going to show how you can make it because again extra plugin and i'm not familiar with it but basically this is just how you can add like extra elements to your uh stuff and basically it's all based on your design and everything else with like acf so that's all i hope i didn't confuse or it wasn't much confusing and please use the donate button or just subscribe button like button or just use my website and buy some products from it when you use it or my links and that way you could support me thank you